Hi everybody, it's Pitta the Potter again in Maggie Valley, North Carolina. And uh, we were working on Jack Be Nimble candlesticks before. And I guess what we're going to do now is we're going to put the handle, attach the handle of this Jack Be Nimble candlestick. And I keep a big bat by my wheel head here. It's real big and what happens is it fits perfectly on my wheel head to give me a good working surface. <clears throat> Let me see here if I can do this. Let's see, we got this here. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay, and now I take my my bucket of water here and I set it up on my wheel head right here. And then we'll take down this piece here. We actually threw these uh, pieces this morning. And as you can see, they're starting to, to rise up on the rim and they're starting to get sort of leather hard, maybe a little bit before leather hard, but that's good. That's okay because what we're going to do now is put a, a handle on this and I don't pull handles for this particular style of pot. What I do is I make a, uh, I make a handle and the handle is basically made out of just a, a lump of clay here, just some used clay. And we just take a little bit and we use that for our working surface. And what we're going to do now is we're going to roll out a flat a uh, ribbon of clay here and just gonna roll it out real quick like here nice handle and I sort of call this my uh, my uh, my in intermediate not necessarily uh, pulled handle not too hard to make for most folks I still use them on some of these pieces because sometimes a pulled attachment doesn't work that well Okay, so here we have a, uh, a rope of uh, clay and we have our instrument here and what we're going to do is we're going to put some grooves into this thing by using a regular ruler. Just use the edge of the ruler here and we're just going to roll the clay on the, uh, with the ruler. And what happens, as you can see, is it starts to make uh, grooves in this, uh, this handle that's going to become a handle. So we just keep rolling it, rolling, 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 rolling. I'm going to put some nice grooves in this handle so it'll be easy to hold. Visually it looks nice and it's sort of simple handle to make. Uh, when my son was first starting, he would actually make these handles and put them on some mugs. Okay, we've got our, our basic handle made right now and we're going to loop it around, make it a loop. So we have a big loopy handle here and we're going to cut this handle down here over here and we're going to cut it down right here this we can reuse we're going to flatten out the both ends here it's like a pinch flat pinch flat right here and now we're going to take this and we're going to slip score a spot for this handle to go and we're going to put it right down here towards the bottom of the pot like right here right down there we just slip score a spot come back up on the other side and slip score a spot right here on this right here on this underneath here we're slip scoring a little spot just getting it gooey and then the same thing over here a little water and we're going to slip score this spot right here so we got two spots ready to go and then we're going to take this handle that we made and we're going to come back in here with a needle tool and some water and we're going to slip score this, this spot right here which is going to get be attached to the handle and then right here on the other side we're slip scoring right here pretty good amount of slip scoring here to get it gooey okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to take this handle set it down and on top of the pot and we're going to push it all together this one here, we're going to push on the attachment here. We're going to turn this pot over. And we're going to push it on at the very bottom. So we've got these two attached pots here for the handle. And as you can see, the handle comes up pretty quick in the air. And we're just going to put a little shaping on this handle right here. Here we go, and what I sometimes do to help the support the handle is I'll take a little tiny piece of clay here 
And then what we need is a piece of paper to interact as the barrier between the handle and the piece. And we're going to take the paper and set it down underneath this handle here. And we're going to pick up the handle to where it should be. And we're going to set this little piece up underneath there to hold the handle up. That's it. <clears throat> So basically what we have is we've we've attached the handle to this Jack Be Nimble candlestick and we're going to straighten it out here, make sure it's nice and straight. We have the pushed on attachment underneath here and a little piece of clay to help support the handle. And if you really wanted to, if you have a heat gun, this is a this is a this I just bought this the other day because I gave my son this is a Wagner heat gun. It's like to scrape paint off and it has two settings. One is uh, 750 and one is 1500 degrees and it burns really hot. So what we'll do is come in here and just stiffen, it, stiffen this handle up a little bit. Keeping the grooves in there. Just stiffen this handle up just a hair here. While we have it propped up you can see the prop. And actually, with Alley, what I did was I put the paper, should be, the paper should actually be on the top of the little knot. And I, luckily I caught it in time. Yeah, a little piece of paper is sort of holding this handle up. And then we're going to take our heat gun and just stiffen the handle up. And this gun is pretty hot. I think I could light this paper on fire here. See how it's burning the paper? It's a real hot heat gun. This heat gun's under, I think mean, it's like $19. It's only, it's very cheap. It's not very expensive. You can buy commercial heat guns. And they'll cost you about $60. And they'll put up maybe almost the same as this a little bit a little different configuration here so let's see here yeah we've got the handle stiffened up nicely now we'll take the paper away we don't need the paper anymore and as you can see this heat gun it burnt the paper it's charred the paper it's quite hot We've done the dastardly deed with the, with, the, with the heat gun here. I still don't think this is quite ready to come off the bat. But here you have it. You watch the throw in the morning. You watch this roll the handle out. Do the uh, simple attachment here. Just a pushed on attachment. That's all you need. And you have a Jack Be Nimble candlestick holder by Pitt of the Potter in Maggie Valley. We'll see you guys on the next one. I hope this was informative. That's uh, Pit of the Potter at charter.net. If you want to email me or pitofthepotter.com. If you want to uh, see my website. All righty. Talk to you later. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.